GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we're here today doing Alpha 10 on the Aris, ugh, Arid start. That's weird. Why is there a backpack over there? I don't get it. I don't get it. There's a drifting backpack. Every time I log in, it's somewhere else. <laughs> I, and there's there's nothing in it. And I haven't died, like, see, zero deaths, I don't get it. Anyway, a little bit of a bug going on there, but, hmm, strange. So, I started, I grabbed all the stuff from the other location and brought it here, so we're, we're basically set up here, um, and I'm just putting in the walls and stuff. Now we've got to do a lot more digging. And thank goodness we have a really good drill now. And I mean, we've got the HV too if we, when we want to do some hardcore drilling. But I think for now we'll just get a basic protected construction room going. The hangar will be in front of it here. The hangar is going to be out here a bit, but we'll get this construction room going. And you can see, if we go into the statistics, it's still, I mean, I'm I'm imminent for a base attack. So, so this is, it's pending for sure. <laughs> it's going to happen. So my rules for this playthrough is we... Um, cannot flip this to public, so this has got to stay private. I cannot exploit by building multi bases side by side for convenience and size. I'll have to do it all from one base, so that means the size of the base will matter when it comes to attack probability. Um, what else? The only way to stop the attacks are going to be to destroy the drone base. So we're going to have to take out the drone base. And then the drone base, I guess, at the core of it, we can only take out by hand weapon, I'm going to say. Other than that, we can take out the exterior defenses with a vehicle. So I think what I want to do is I want to get to the point where I can build a decent HV to go assault the drone base, right? We're not going to go to space right away. I think we'll uh, try and neutralize the drone base here. Just expand this a bit more, okay. I want to be careful not to destroy my constructor. Actually, you know what? I think I'll I think I'll just pick up this block here. There we go. Okay, let's keep building. Now since this is just going to be the the preliminary shop, which is not going to have a lot of functionality to it. Um, yeah, we'll have like a the garden beside us here, shooting that direction. Try and get underneath the base logo there. And then we'll have an elevator going up. Okay, good, 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 good. So the construction room, the construction room, if it's gonna have a furnace in it, I'm gonna need it three high. Oh, what is that? Did you see that? I just saw something. I see a critter. Let's here. Uh, 
<laughs> I swear to God, I saw a critter. It's okay. It's okay, it's not coming in, so that's fine. Okay, let's keep building. Oops. So we want to keep expanding out this side. I wonder if I should do the furnace. I'll do, you know what, the back The back room is going to be the furnace and the deconstructor and, or maybe the furnace and the, the deconstructor can go out here, but the, the furnace and um, generator room. Yeah, that's what we'll make behind there. Get that in. So they changed it recently that you have to dig a little bit more of the dirt out to place your blocks. That's fine. Okay. I love the T2 drill now, it's super fast. Okay. It's easier than using the, the HV for small drilling, small precise drilling, and it's so fast that that it uh, it's great. It's just great. Okay. Get all this dug out. So that's going to be all concrete roof here. Okay. So let's grab blocks and drag them across. Okay. And we got some blocks there. So let's just drag these this. Excellent. You notice, oh, you don't notice, but I am actually getting, ooh, I'm about to level actually, and we need uh, 700, 670, we need 670 XP. Okay. So we'll probably get it just by building because you get XP by placing blocks, so. Yep. Getting XP. Maybe we'll ding. Get to level 12 by digging. By uh, digging out a base and filling it in. Okay, now let's do some structural integrity here because I think we're going to, no, uh, we don't want to connect a base. We just want to do structural integrity. Okay. Yeah, get a little reddish there. So let's keep working over here. Get that in. And the, the bigger I make this, the higher probability that we're going to get attacked too. So that kind of sucks. And as soon as I power it up, we're going to get another <laughs> higher chance of getting attacked. Okay. Nice. Get that in. Let's see what... Yeah, it's getting a little too red. For my liking. Okay. Get 
this in. I know it's just a box for now, but isn't all starter bases <laughs> like, like really? Okay. in there good oh hey that caught enough dirt to I like it when that happens now when I dig it out I don't think it'll I think it has that that structural integrity to it now now don't quote me but Okay, so I don't know how much wider we need to make this one. Probably really not any any more wider. It's just gonna be cargo and constructors. Okay. Bigger hanger here. Wow, that T T2 drill just takes a huge chunk out of the uh, ground, eh? Love it. That's wicked. Nice. Okay, so should we seal that up there then? And if we don't need to make this really any bigger, so let's do that. Let's uh, bring this across. And yeah, yeah. Get that dug out prop. Nope, 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 nope out okay well let's put the last couple blocks in the floor piece here okay couple blocks there and then we'll be putting a door there okay and nope just fine do that then Okay, good. So we'll seal this up. And then we'll pop a, there we go, level 12. Then we'll pop a door in. Where do we want to pop a door in? In the center here? Sure. There we go. So, yeah, I guess I got to take more out. <laughs> it's okay. There, I should be able to get it out through there now. So let's try. Yeah, yeah. Turn the engines back on. Here we go. Let's get the Gatlings out just in case. There we go. No problem. just oh my god we'll just get stuck completely really oh, there we go okay let's
let's just lower her down. If we get attacked, we'll, um, looked like somebody was coming in right then. If we get attacked, we'll, we'll rush out there to our defense. Okay, so what else? What else do we got here? We've got... Um, got that, we've got that, we've got that, we've got that. So let's put the large constructor here. No, that'll block in that other one. So let's, let's put the large constructor. One, two, one, two. We'll put it right there, and then we put the cargo for it there. Or we spin it one more. So it's like there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Um, well, temporarily, we'll put, uh, yeah, temporarily we can put this up here. And then, what else? Temporarily we can put the, put this up there too. And then the fuel tank. Okay. So, what do we got for statistics? Uh, still the same. 48.4. Well, let's fuel it up and see what happens. So I'm going to get rid of the structural integrity here. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to put some of this stuff away so I don't have it on me here. Oh, well, I'm just connected. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. What do I got on me? I've got enough ammo to fend off a troop attack. Okay. That's more O2. Okay, so let's go into the devices. We're going to group everything. And now from here, we're going to go into fuel. And then we've got 38. Let's do the 38 here. Very nice. So that gives us lots of juice and then let's power it up okay let's see what let's see what it thinks of that uh, the energy footprint did not change maybe it's consumption energy being consumed so if we turn on the large constructor it might do it you know what we need to do is get this thing sealed up. So let's grab uh, that one and then we pipe it to that one. Yeah. So we need some doors. What do we have here? Motor? We don't have. Why don't we have. Why can't we make motors? Oh got the wrong thing selected. There we go. Wait, why does it keep flipping? There. Okay. So we need a Wi-Fi. See, we can make the advanced constructor, but I'd rather just upgrade the one that we've got here. We need vent. We need 
doors. Three doors. We're going to need O2. Cobalt alloy. Takes one cobalt alloy. I've got six. Let's make a couple of those. Because we've got lots of water now, so we can make uh, a whole bunch of bottles. Okay. And then what else? What else? Uh, we want some lights. Let's get some lights going. We're going to need Container controller. Oh, we need fridge. A fridge. We need a fridge. Fridge. And we need to start working on the grow light room. We also need to make a bunch of solar panels. So we're going to make a bunch of solar panels. We're going to try something crazy with our solar panels. So, uh, yeah. Okay, we have not triggered an attack. Oh, see, energy energy footprint has gone up, so that means we have more and more of a chance of getting attacked. Okay, so let's see what we need to get our multi-tool. Let's see what we need to upgrade this. We need a, two computers, five energy matrix. 10 cobalt alloy and 10 flux coils. Okay. Okay, so let's do that then. <clears throat> uh, we're going to need so six more cobalt alloy. We're going to need we don't need any flux coils. We don't need any energy matrix, but we need two computers. Okay. Okay. Well, that's spinning up. Let's reconnect to here. So let's go to here. And there we go. We want blocks, we want the fridge, we want doors, we want the ventilator, O2 tank, okay, so we want, let's start with the doors, let's spin that around, put the door there, and a door there, and then, uh, there, we'll put it over here. Door there. And then, actually, you know what? That's going to be going into the hangar. So let's, um, on second thought, let's pop this. Let's just change it, rotate to there. Okay, now we'll grab these blocks and just fill it in, and voila, we have a sealed base. Yay! Now let's uh, put in our ventilator. Oops. Four. Uh, yeah, you know what? We can put it there and we'll just put for now. Put that there. That's probably good enough. We'll do the fridge here beside where the that's going to go. Okay, so now we can take the stuff out of the mini miner and put it into the base. So right there, we go like that. And then 
the fridge to the fridge and like that and wham nice okay now we can we can shut this off we'll just jump back into it if uh, if we get a base attack so we'll just pull this across this will be the floor of the of the hangar eventually okay uh, let's go in. nice so we have our own little cubby here but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expand out into the into here and build the furnace um, oxygen tank you know the the, the uh, fuel and basically the ugly stuff is gonna go in that back room okay guys well I'm gonna leave it here uh, we got a good start this is a good start we haven't got attacked yet and we are at a 48.4% chance. That's crazy. Oh, our base size went up. Base difficulty. The difficulty for the base size went up a bit. Okay. Cool. Well, guys, next episode we'll continue on uh, built, working on the base. I'm gonna I'm gonna build the back room off camera, and I'll probably dig out and get the at least get the bulk of the um hangar dug out and laid out and the uh the grow up i'll hopefully have all dug out and laid out too so uh if we do get base attacks while i do that i will try and record i'll try and fire up the camera uh hopefully we can catch it in time but until then you guys have yourselves an awesome Awesome day.